so uh, how do artificial sweeteners affect the uh, intermittent fasting process and affect fat gain or fat loss? You know, this is Gavin Mail. I want to thank Octavio for the amazing uh, inspirational comment he left me uh, on the last video because this whole artificial sweetener thing is a really, really a topic that I've done a lot of experience and a lot of research on for the last, say, seven years or so. So let me address it in a few parts. You asked about Stevia, uh, Octavio, and you asked about how that or other artificial sweeteners, you, you mentioned vitamin water specifically, can affect the body during the, uh, the intermittent fasting process. And so let me just let's touch base on that. First of all, I, uh, I'm down here in Oakland today. It's a freaking great day, amazing day, and I'm excited. Are you say yes? Amazing city, I love this place. So, listen. Stevia has no effect on the body uh, in the way of calories or in the way of appetite increase or decrease in my experience and you know from what I understand. Leave a comment below if you have a different experience and how it affects your appetite. But it, it, definitely, it definitely doesn't affect your calories for the day and it's completely natural from a plant. All right, next. Uh, NutraSweet, like the, like the equal, that is a GMO product, and I highly do not recommend using that product, okay? NutraSweet is no good, all right? It's gonna affect the brain, it has chemicals in, the, in it, and it can actually trigger appetite increase to where you eat more, you wanna eat like crazy. Next, aspartame. Aspartame was, uh, was approved back in the 1980s by our, uh, one of our good political friends under, uh, under Ronald Reagan, I don't think Reagan had anything to do with it, but it was Donald Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld, man, I have a good memory somehow. Dug that out of the subconscious mind. Thank you, mega memory. Uh, Donald Rumsfeld was our good friend in approving aspartame to help the people. Well, aspartame is a deadly poison. It's GMO, so it will increase your appetite immensely. It will also cause blind blindness so I know that's kind of a harsh statement saying it caused blindness but you know it, it actually there's a lot of studies and a lot of uh, people if you really do a lot of homework on aspartame that are going blind because of aspartame drinking diet cokes stay the heck away from the aspartame dude stay off that crap and plus it's highly addictive aspartame is highly addictive it's genetically modified Bad news, never never touch aspartame. You gotta make sure you look at the ingredients and never touch that stuff. Okay, next, sucralose. There's a lot of mixed information on sucralose, man. I'm coming at you with a Wikipedia amount of information right now just from my own experience off the top of my head, all right? I know this stuff because I've been researching it for so long and experiencing it. A lot of people are gonna tell you sucralose is bad and that sucralose will make you fat. Sucralose uh, will cause these problems. I actually disagree, and here's where I believe they're coming from. All right, let me let me answer this in two parts on sucralose. Splenda, all right, now that is a brand, Splenda, which has sucralose in it, also has maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a GMO product based for, uh, from genetically modified corn syrup. All right, so that's bad news, and that that GMO product is actually what's causing the problem, not the sucralose in the Splenda, all right? So try to stay away from Splenda. I know no one's perfect. It's not gonna kill you having some a little bit here and there, all right? It's not gonna kill you, but I'm just saying that's, to be perfect, you wanna try to stay away from it. Now, sucralose completely by itself, I got a, I got a drink here just now to check it out the ingredients. I'm not really a, I don't drink monsters. I'm not supporting it, but, you know, shout out to my boy, Hayden uh, Mark Stein. He's the distributor for this, this, this monster drink with Budweiser. I love you, Hayden, but I don't, I don't, I don't support Monster. But I do. I will say this: it has sucralose in it, completely inert, with no maltodextrin. So shout out to the those guys at Monster and Hayden, Hayden Markstein for that. But I'll tell you this: um, so sucralose, if you take it by itself, studies show, and I'm going to quote the studies. It's by Econet, Stephen Treninsky, MS. He's not a doctor. He's an advanced biochemist with one of the largest uh, natural com companies out of Korea called Econet. They did studies on humans 
and rats in the way of sucralose on the body and they found that sucralose is inert meaning that when the body takes it in it, it comes in one form and it comes out the exact same form on the other end study after study after study meaning that it has zero effect on the body leave a comment below with your experience in suc sucralose you know if it affects you to where you're having uh, appetite cravings or if you're having a lot of um, you know, issues with it, leave a comment, but studies show that it's completely inert. Now, not Splenda, again, the difference between Splenda and Sucralose. Splenda has the maltodextrin in it, so just straight up Sucralose is okay. All right. All right, Octavio, man, great freaking inspiring questions. You really brought some insight out, man. I really appreciate you doing that. And uh, Oakland is a beautiful town. Just getting my walking in right now. Dude, I'll tell you, I go out of the way to walk, and it's not always convenient, but... I, I make sure that I walk that like an hour a day, you know, I'm not doing training today, so I walk. So hopefully that helped you regarding the artificial sweeteners. One last thing, okay, leave a comment below regarding your feedback on the sucralose. What you think, maybe you know something different about aspartame. Stevia is completely, completely fine if you have that. Aspartame, stay the heck away from it. NutraSweet, stay the heck away from that stuff. And, uh, and sucralose in, in, in its complete raw form is inert, has no effect on the body, so it's okay. And lastly, so I'm down here, just a little story, I'm down here in Oakland. I did a little experiment, I brought this heavy coat. Everywhere I go, man, in this coat, nobody freaking notices me, no one recognizes me, like no one even, they, they think I'm so, I, I, I just kind of blend in, no one gives me any respect. As soon as I take off my coat, right, and I show them I'm shredded, everyone respects me. Dude, it's crazy, man, it's like so, you want to get noticed if you want to get freaking you know if you want to get like respect you know without even saying a word get freaking shredded done